it, it's, uh, it's interesting what you just said, um, uh, for example, how can I apply what I learned in a classroom? And what is the structure? How can we get involved? There are so many ways that people can get involved. And, um, uh, and, and, and the question is, for example, how if someone is spending four years in a classroom, learning, learning, learning. After your fourth year, you are a graduate from Columbia University and you are off. So what, what's next? I see a lot of people in Africa, a lot of uh, students or graduate from Harvard, from Yale, from so many different places, who are doing this and that, a lot of projects. The challenges, I think, have, in my opinion, been these. We know and we are the experts in a place like Rwanda or like Burundi. Um, my time at Columbia University has been crucial in so many ways. Learning how to listen, observe, and figure out what, what is actually needed for someone I would like to help, for example. And that was a great experience. My other greatest teachers have frankly been the poor people we serve in Burundi who walk around barefoot, kids who are severely malnourished, to think about what can I do? What can I actually teach them? And if you actually sit down with them, eat what they are eating, which is not always good, because that's the reason why they are severely malnourished, and feel exactly the pain they actually have to endure on a daily basis. And you learn a lesson. You go back and you think, huh, now I learned in school. How can I actually apply that and have a conversation with the, all the people around me and uh, do something good? But what is that something good? It's extremely important to go to a place like Burundi, not as an expert first, first as a listener and have a conversation with people. Uh, because I think there are a lot of resources really wasted, wasted all over the world. There is a reason why there, are, there is so much problem, so a lot of problems, and you just wonder why, how come that we have so many NGOs, how come that we have so many organizations, and yet new problems are accumulating, growing exponentially. What are we doing wrong? Mm -mm. And these are really fundamental questions. What I think we are doing wrong, we go to a place, even in our backyard, as experts. And we do not ask people around in our backyard what exactly they think of us or what the needs are. So education never ends. It's, uh, we, we, you know, we, we, learning is a process, it's a lifetime thing. Um, and as long as uh, you know, students who graduate or even faculty members can go to a place and have a project and say, look, I like this, I'm going to do it. And you make sure that when you are doing something, it doesn't die when you leave. You have to work with people and understand exactly that the time you are spending, the resources you are, you are, you are spending over there are going to uh, keep growing. So I, I think there is a, a lot um, we can do and, uh, and quite a lot of NGOs really have failed miserably for that, that reason. You go to a place like Burundi, hundreds of NGOs. We bump into so, so many of them and they say, well, say, oh, we are working in a, in a small village of Kigutu and say, oh, we are working over there. It turns out it's around where we are, but they don't even know whether it's west or north or where just doing business, sitting in the capital of Burundi, Bujumbura, and you wonder what is going on. But we have uh, at Field Health Works, um, you know, with all these students and college students and medical students and others, uh, decided to just to go and set up tents, um, which is wonderful when you are there for just two days or, or three nights, not for a year, and be with people and learn exactly from them. So it's been a really wonderful, and with so such as, you know, two years and with so little resources, we've done so much. And in one year, the first day of operation, more than 30,000 pa 30, patients treated at the clinic. And it's because we, you know, we have, uh, you know, tried to get people and say, look, 
let's work with them. Let's make, you know, work with the people who are making breaks because we don't have resources and they learn from us, we learn from them. That's how we've been teaching it. Judy.